In our journey to enhance science education, we spotlight a pivotal study by Enrique Ortega Torres from the Universidad de Valencia. This research delves into how future secondary school teachers view the reliability of traditional physics and chemistry tests. Set to be presented at the 2024 Southern Science Conference in Mendoza, Argentina, it aims to critically assess if these conventional methods effectively gauge students' understanding. Join us in exploring the potential for evolving how we measure educational success in the sciences. Diving deeper into the reliability of high school science assessments. A study at the University of Valencia reveals a concerning variability in grading decisions among 70 pre-service physics and chemistry teachers. Assessing a 9th grade science test, they encountered procedural, calculation, and unit conversion errors, with conceptual mistakes highlighted as most critical. The average score given was a mere 4.95, underscoring the urgent need for alternative assessment methods in science education to ensure a fair and accurate measure of student understanding. In the realm of secondary science, education assessment is not just a tool for grading, but a pivotal factor that shapes both teaching strategies and student learning. With the introduction of LOM, LOE, educators are now at a crossroads, debating the best practices for assessment that meet contemporary educational demands. This evolution presents a unique set of challenges. From aligning assessments with modern pedagogical goals to ensuring they accurately reflect student knowledge and skills in a rapidly changing educational landscape. Summative assessments are a cornerstone in secondary education, focusing on final exams to gauge student achievements against predefined objectives. While they play a critical role in academic evaluation, these assessments often miss incorporating competency-based transfer tests. Research indicates that integrating such tests could significantly enhance student outcomes by not only measuring what students know but also how they apply their knowledge in real-world scenarios. This gap highlights a crucial area for improvement in our approach to educational assessment. In the realm of physics and chemistry education, the consistency of evaluation tests is paramount. A study focusing on this aspect underlines the necessity for tests that yield stable and consistent results across different instances. The integration of supplementary assessment tools is advocated to fortify the evaluation process, ensuring that educational assessments are not only reliable but also comprehensive in measuring students' understanding and application of scientific concepts. This approach aims at refining the quality of science education, making it more robust and reflective of students' capabilities. Diving into the realm of education, a novel study at the University of Valencia seeks to uncover how secondary school teacher trainees perceive and correct errors in physics and chemistry. Engaging 70 participants from the secondary education master's degree, this research employs a specialized test and an ad hoc form to analyze correction strategies. It aims to reveal the impact of educational backgrounds on error evaluation, highlighting the importance of nuanced understanding in future educators' approaches to teaching science. In the journey to enhance science education, a pivotal study sheds light on the errors most frequently encountered by teacher trainees. From procedural slip-ups to conceptual mix-ups, these mistakes underscore the critical areas needing attention in teacher preparation programs. By focusing on these common pitfalls, the aim is to arm future educators with the tools and knowledge to foster a more robust understanding of science among students, ultimately elevating the quality of science education and student success. A recent study casts a spotlight on the reliability of assessment instruments in 3DSO physics and chemistry, uncovering significant grading inconsistencies. This revelation prompts a crucial conversation about the future of assessment in secondary education, urging educators to explore alternative methods. As we strive for fairness and accuracy in grading, this finding could be the catalyst for transforming how we evaluate student understanding and performance in science subjects. This scene encapsulates groundbreaking perspectives on education. From teachers' varied evaluation methods to the intricate learning processes and the profound influence of classroom assessments on student success. Highlighting studies from Aaron Sibia Herrera et al. to Ruiz Martin, 
we dive into the essence of teaching and learning, emphasizing the need for thoughtful educational practices. These insights not only enrich our understanding, but also guide us towards more effective and inclusive educational strategies, shaping the future of learning and evaluation in schools.